we are going to see the next concept that we are going to look uh, see here is automation testing. Now, what is automation testing? Automation testing is a type of a regression testing where we execute test cases without human intervention. Without human intervention. What does this mean? Now, what is, what is the regression testing? Can anyone tell me what is regression testing? Anyone? Yep. So when there's a change in the code in the software that the developer has made and you need to check it again. Yes. When there is a change in the code in the software and we have to test the, test it again, the, yes. the functionality again, then it is called regression testing. Okay. Now, why do you want to go to automation? Uh, because it has to be done repeatedly when the number of times that you have to execute a case increases it's better to uh, get it automated. Correct. Now, when I am in release one, say mm -hmm. I have 50 test cases. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I do manual testing for this. Mm -hmm. There will be a common generic question. Usually, people ask this question. Mm -hmm. This is my first release. Okay. I have 50 test cases. Why can't we automate this and run, run the test case? Can we do that? Yeah. No, never. No. Always the new test cases are done manually. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. The reason is that unless and until you know that the functionality is working, can you test it? Can you automate it? Okay. You cannot automate it, right? If the functionality breaks at one place, your automation will stop. Right. That is the reason when we are in release 2, we automate the release one. Okay. So all these 50 test cases will be now automated for release two. Okay. So now what it means is the, the first time it has to be done manually. Yes. So release two, so imagine you have 30 test cases for release two. Mm -hmm. This test, 30 test cases will be done manually. Now mm -hmm. we have to validate this 50 test cases. That mm -hmm. would be done using automation. Okay. You getting me? Yes. Okay. Now, why do you need to automate it? So let's take another example. One more example. Let's take your example in the call in the case of the most common thing that we look into. Now, say I have uh, three testers with me. Now, one tester in one man day. In one man day, that one man day is equal to eight hours. Okay. One man day, he can do, say, 10 test cases. He can execute 10 test cases in one man day, depending upon the complexity, okay? There's a generic note. So now I have three test testers. So I need how many man days in order to do 50 test cases? Can anyone calculate and tell me? Can anyone calculate and tell me how many man days? Yes? Uh, you need less than two days because in one day you can do, you can okay. do 30. Yes. So overall we will say we need two man days. I cannot bill for a half a day. So we say two man days in order to complete regression one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, now say for release. Now we are in release two. I have only three testers. Now, when coming at this, I need one man day to finish 30 test cases. Okay. Right? With three mm -hmm. people. So, if you imagine, for one person, I am paying um, $45 an hour. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, 45 into 8 
into 2 into 3. Can anyone tell me how much it comes up to? 45 into 8 into 2 into 3. Come on, guys. Yes. How much? It's 2160. 2160. Is it that big amount? 2160. How come it is less? 48 into 45. It's 2160. 2160. What, what's happening? Why people are giving me different, different numbers? Then? Forty five into forty eight eight into two into three six two one six zero. I don't know how <laughs> okay. Um so now it is close to two one six zero. Okay. Two one six zero. This is my cost. This is my cost to complete my release one testing. This mm -hmm. is my testing cost. Mm -hmm. Now release 2, same 45 into 8 into 3 into 1. So mm -hmm. how much it is? It will come up to um, 1, 8. It is 108, 108. Okay. So it's coming to 1080. Correct. Now I have to test this 50 test cases. Mm -hmm. Now add this to it. Okay. How much is coming to? Zero. Three two four zero. Three two four zero. I'm going to keep. Am I going to keep on adding this for every release? Okay. Where will I end up with this money then? Right. So for this, what we will do? We will automate this fifty test case. So now what I will have is. Instead of me having three testers doing this, I will have one automation tester. Okay. Automation tester. So now he will be paid, say, example, $55 an hour. Okay. He will take 55 into 8. How much it's coming to? 40. Oh, 40. So now 121080. This will be my cost for the next cycle instead right. of going through this. Getting me? Right. So this is how I save my money by automating this test case. Mm -hmm. Right? If you are doing, you see, if a human in person, you as a person is doing a test case, they say, example, our Cairo itself, uh, create patients, you might take at least six to seven minutes to finish this. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. To finish the entire, create a patient, and then log out. You take minimum seven minutes, correct? Or say, example, four minutes. Mm -hmm. While in a, in a automation, it takes less than a minute to finish this. Okay. So that's why you will be able to finish it within eight hours. All right. And what we usually do? We run it overnight. Mm -hmm. Getting me? Okay. So it's, it's much, much simpler when it comes to budgeting when I have an automation tester rather than using the manual tester another whole day of 2,160 to do this. Mm -hmm. I'm okay to take this because this is where I'm going to really see the issue, right? right? But here I know this has already been tested. I'm just doing a regression for this. Okay. Do I need to waste these people's effort into this? Not mm -hmm. necessary. So I, this will be my cost for my automation. See the difference? How much is the difference? 3240, 1520, 0257. Oh. This is to 1. I'm saving $1,720 mm -hmm. when I'm moving into automation. It makes a lot of difference, right? Right. So that is the reason people 
tanks. That is the reason people tend to move towards automation. But automation is only for regression. Mind you, automation is only for regression. It is not for doing your current release. Even if you take any tool, the most widely used tool, QTP, still suggests that they use this tool for regression testing. Getting me, guys? Any questions? Any questions? Okay. Now, in automation, right, in automation testing, we are going to learn a tool called QTP. This is an industry standard tool of, um, this tool is most widely used and it has come through a long way. So initially this tool was again with a company called Mercury. They had a tool named Windrunner. This is, this is no more. They have stopped supporting this tool. They have ended up this tool and moved into QTP. QTP stands for Quick Test Professional. Quick Test Professional. QTP stands for Quick Test Professional. Now, QTP uses a language called BB script. This is the language which QTP uses in order to do its automation. Now, VB script is a very, very versatile tool. It is uh, it's, uh, it's a very strong scripting language. We are going to see more about VB script in our PP, coming PPTs. Okay, we are going to see more uh, about how to work with VB script and what VB script is all about. We are going to see all those things now. Right? Now, what is, what is QTP and VB script? Right? Now, QTP. Okay, for anyone who's not seen Chitra, this is how Chitra looks like. Correct, Chitra? I think you have a little longer hair, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. See, I'm a good artist, right? Yeah. Yeah. So now, so Chitra as a person, right, doesn't know how to interact with the computer because comp Chitra talks English and computer understands binary. What is binary? Say example, if I want to type B, the binary language, um, don't hold on to this number, it will be something like this, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, something like this. The computer understands B, something like this. Now, is, is, is she going to write in this language? No, she cannot write this. If I example, launch, Cairo application for this yeah, say example we have to type www.cairo.com are you going to write for w 0101010 then next w again 10101001 again w 10100001001 then a dot, it's a dot, something like this, one, zero, one, one. Then again, K, are you going to write like this? No, you cannot write like this. So, QTP is again a language that talks to the system. So, QTP can talk to the system and make the system understand what it is. But how do you talk to QTP? QTP cannot understand layman's language, right, because it's an engine. That engine runs on this computer and performs all the commands that what you want. But how do you tell the engine? You need a, say, example. Telugu. Telugu, okay. Uh, who else is Telugu here? Anyone else Telugu here? Anyone else who knows Telugu here? I'm from Andhra. Oh, okay. Okay, now I want to tell Monica. Sorry, I, Monica, I wanted to tell Pregna, um, how are you today? 
how do you how do you translate that how do i translate that through yeah. bb script if i have to talk in it we are talking about bb script now i am <laughs> saying you translate and tell pragna how are you in telugu bagunava bagunava right so now pragna did you understand sir rajesh why i made monica con- convert it to telugu because you don't understand english okay okay assume so now how do i communicate with you i am communicating through monica to make you understand what i am trying to say you getting me yeah guy i got it rajesh that is what is vb script that translator that translator is vb script now we are going to learn this translator now you as a person is going to write the command in vb script now qtp will take this vb script we qtp can read vb script so it will take this vb script convert that vb script into binary language like this and the computer will execute this for you guys you are able to understand how do you say purinjitra did you under, i understood or how do you say did you understand neeku ardham ayinda ha neeku ardham ayinda yeah ardham ayindi ardham ayindi priyanka neeku ardham ayinda yes 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 nay telugu lo cheppu ardham ayindi ardham ayinda ardham ayindi ai poyindi ha Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now I started talking in the language, right? Now what I want you guys to do is to talk in this language now, so that we be script can understand, right? So I'm going to teach you this language. I'm going to teach you we be script, where you will start talking. Say like example, I'm going to teach you Spanish. I'm going to speak teach you Spanish, and you are going to start talking to people. in spanish in order to get your work done that's what we are going to learn now and vb script is a very 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 simple tool um simple scripting language it's a very very simple scripting language you don't need to use any complicated logic there very few commands that very few functions that you need to remember all you need to do is understand how the concept and the logic works once you understand that you can do miracles with vb script okay <coughs> now let's get into our uh, uh, automation ppt and see what what is there for us in the automation ppt okay um okay this is when i changed i i read the, the material so that was the date that's there okay now same in the agenda the overall agenda we are here now the automation testing phase now in automation testing what are we going to learn we are going to learn what is automation what is the difference between manual testing and automation what is coding language we are going to learn the vb scripting language introduction to qtp and then we are going to do a workshop with qtp so we going to word, uh, introduction to qtp don't be, don't worry uh, that, uh, don't think that i'm just going to give you an overview of qtp no we are going to learn in depth in detail how to work with qtp whatever we teach you in class is more than enough for you to do your day to day job because the curriculum that i designed is designed based on what we do on our day to day job that is what the curriculum is all about then we are going to have a practical workshop like how how we had with uh, with manual testing where i gave you a live app application and asked you to write uh, test cases for that similarly we are going to have a live application and we are going to write test cases uh, automation testing for that particular application now what is automation testing software automation testing is a process again this is a process in which software tools execute pre scripted tests on an application software application 
before it is released to production. So what does it mean? Software tool execute pre-scripted test. That is, the test cases that I ran manually in my previous release, right? I'm going to follow the same test case and make my VB script do those steps instead of me as a manual person do that step. Okay, so that is what is pre-scripted test. Now here, what we are going to see, we are going to see how the pre-scripted test look like. So in QTP, this is how the script looks like. This is how the and the the QTP scripts or the VB scripts in QTP look like. This is what we are going to work with. Does it sound interesting? Or are you Not at all, Rajesh. Not at all interesting, <laughs> huh? No, it's it's interesting, it, but at the same time. Shall we make it interesting? Yes, please. Okay. Let me ask you a few questions in my by looking by looking at uh, eleven lines there, uh -huh. I was like so scared to see that. Uh, sorry, what by looking at? By looking 11 lines up there, so I'm, I'm so scared to see those 11 lines no, in the scripting. No, very, very, it, you don't need to even to type this. Right, QTP really? will do that for you. QTP will do that for you. Oh my right. God. I'm going to show you that. You're going to, there are multiple ways to do scripting. We're going to see all the, there are three ways to do scripting. One, recording, manually writing the script. And there is another way of doing uh, scripting. We're going to see all the three ways. Mm -hmm. Don't look at the script and get scared. It is very, very simple. Okay. If you tell me QTP is tough, then I'm going to ask my uh, for 13 year old cousin to come and show you how easy it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, okay. Come on, come on. Okay. Now, what we are going to see here is next is. What is the difference between manual testing and automation testing? We simply, I gave you a simple example of what is the difference and why do we need to go to automation? We saw a practical scenario. That's a practical scenario where we calculated how much of cost is involved and how much of saving that we do when we move from manual to automation, right? Now let's see some theoretical aspects to it. Time consuming and tedious. Manual testing is time consuming since, since test cases are executed by human resources. So it is very slow and tedious. Fast automation runs fast. Automation runs test cases significantly faster than human resources. As I told you, if we are creating a test case, say example, uh, to create patients, we will take a minimum four minutes to create the patient while it will be less than a minute in order if you are running it in automation. Huge investment of resources. A test case need to be executed manually. So more testers are required for manual testing. As I told you, um, the, this, this is what we saw. How much of cost saving that we do when we are doing, when we are moving from manual testing to automation testing. Less reliable, manual testing is less reliable because human errors, possibility of human errors are more here, right? Here, it's reliable because the once you tell the script to do in this way, every time it will do the same thing. It will not change. But here, say example, person A does a test case and person B does a test case, person B might there are possibilities that you might miss a step. That will not happen here. Non-programmable. So that means if you wanted to write a test case where you need some data that's coming at the back end, you cannot, you cannot do that. You need a multiple access in order to get all those information. But here we can bring out hidden data, information, everything easily here because it's all just connections that you need to do. Any questions here, guys? Any questions? Any questions? Okay. So that's the difference between manual testing and automation testing. 